YouTube, how you guys doing? If you're a MacBook or a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro user, then this video is going to be of interest to you. One of the main questions, or one of, not the main, but I get a lot of questions from people using Apple notebook machines saying, you know, how do I sort of keep my battery maintained? How often do I have to charge it? How often do I have to discharge it? Um, there's no app per se until now, and here's what I'm here to demonstrate pretty much. Uh, you know, as to how often you should keep your battery maintained. You can go into the Apple support websites and pages and you'll eventually come across an article. Um, but this app is very, very neat. It's free for 60 days, the full thing. Uh, and after 60 days, you can buy the license for only seven US dollars or 6.95 to be exact. And without further ado, let's open this application. So it opens or it creates a little button here in the top right hand corner and it tells you your battery health is good, which is a good sign for me anyway. Got an hour and 20 remaining, and let's go into preferences, because that's where we want to start off with. Now, you know, prior to this app, what I would normally do is, after two months, I would realize, hey, I should maybe give my battery a discharge, uh, and I kind of lose tab of when the last time I done it. So this application is good that it will automatically schedule your next um, sort of calibration, um, which is good. Um, you can sort of customize it and so on and this is what you can do from this pane and while I'm kind of on that note some of you are saying you know well what is the point of you know keeping uh, your battery healthy or what is the point of this application and so on basically the better you keep your battery maintained the more oomph you're going to get your laptop uh, down, the, down the line if you don't keep it maintained you'll you know you'll start to notice your power or your time on the machine your battery's dying out quicker uh, because you haven't maintained it well. So by maintaining your battery, you're getting more oomph um, from it. And needless to say, when you sell your laptop or your MacBook down the line, you'll get pretty good dosh for it. And it's, you know, while it's only going to cost you 6 95 after 60 days, it is kind of a steal at this price in my opinion. Notifications, self-explanatory, you can sort of read it yourself. Here's a very interesting one, partial discharges. Basically, this is, you know, and I'm, I must say I'm kind of uh, guilty to this. I keep my power cord in for quite a while, and a number of hours. So this is a reminder to it'll pop up and say, hey, take your wire out of your MacBook, otherwise it's going to sort of mess your battery up. Basically, this program or app says it's good to charge or discharge or, you know, keep your power cord out after a few hours. Don't always keep it in. Let the electrons flowing, shall I say. Uh, signed, uh, you know, I kind of sound a bit like a scientist, but it's good um, that this, they have this wee reminder. Uh, and definitely, if you are working crazy hours or if you forget, it will notify you. And down here, not I don't need to say anything. Let's go into information. So I've had 83 cycles done so far of my battery. And bear in mind, I got my MacBook in April, mid April 2010. 83 cycles since then. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, um, but if you guys know, uh, do let me know if that's good or bad. The total design cycles of this battery is about a thousand, uh, and after this thousand, I'm assuming the battery life is going to sort of start to degrade. Uh, so not really looking forward to that. But hey, uh, you never know. I may get a new one in the next few months, knowing how I roll. The capacity of the battery, or the original battery, is six thousand nine hundred. And the current battery is 6,379, 92%. And it's giving you another tip here at the bottom. Yeah. Calibration is the main tab of this application. Now, this application is not going to do it for you. It's going to show you how to do it. It's going to give you clear instruction as to how it's to be done in very simple, clear UI format. Um, but it doesn't do it for you. So it's going to give you steps. So... Plug in your power adapter, you know, use your machine, the wire must be plugged and you can still use your computer. And then you hit the next button, step two. Now this is faded because I haven't connected my power source on my MacBook Pro and hence why it's um, greyed out. So as soon as I put the power source in, this will brighten up. And assuming my battery is up to 100%, there's a step two, you can start, you know, fully charge it, you can use it and so on. Step three, you disconnect the power, and you can unplug it, obviously, use your computer. Step four, continue to keep using your computer until it goes to sleep mode. The program or this application here, Watch, will 
sort of tell you five minutes or ten minutes before to save your work, otherwise you're guffed. Uh, step five is when pretty much your MacBook will go to sleep and you must leave it as it is for five hours, black screen, let it sleep for five hours. Once it's done, hit the next button, connect the power source and fully charge it and that is your battery nice and healthy. And then you can sort of create history logs as to the last time you've done it. Uh, and it keeps everything organized. Guys, this is a fantastic application for you MacBook owners and I would highly recommend you go out and get it. I'll leave it in the description. Again, free for 60 days. The price is cheap after that anyway. If you have come across a similar app, I would be very, very interested. So leave me your comments below. If you've used this, what do you think about it? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, and I shall see you in another video. Remember guys, iglassweegian.com. Twitter.com slash i 6 Facebook.com slash i uh, And yeah, cheers guys.